Welcome to Home Designs by Amanda. I'm Amanda and today I'm going to go ahead and do another Bible journal. Luke 12. Episode. I'm going to do six. It says, are not five sparrows sold for two farthing and not one of them is forgotten before God, but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. So that part along with the um, 1227 where it says consider the lilies and how they grow so that part was in my reading this past week and I, I liked that and I thought that would be cute here I have a, a stamp here what is it it's a stamp stampendous um, I bought it before I got into stamping up products and it's the only bird other than like really tiny ones, it's the only bird stamp that I have, and I really wanted it for with the this talking about the sparrows, how we're more valuable than the sparrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in here, and then I have um, this stamp from the Advent Garden, which was um, what we one of the celebration items. So this this video is definitely not really a current. <laughs> A current one at all but it's more just to show you what you can do with your stamps in your Bible journaling not so much about what stamps I'm using um, but I do have um, my colors here and I think um, we'll get started with the bird I'm gonna probably do colored pencils with the bird after I after I stamp it they are not the Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils because I've not gotten those yet they are on my list to get <laughs> eventually but for now I'll just use the ones that I already have okay so let's get started here I'm gonna start with some smoky slate for my my outline colors of the bird here and it is quite a big stamp and I I picked the smoky slate because it's not really a super dark gray it's a nice gray and so I don't even think I'm gonna stamp this off even though I tend to stamp off before I stamp it in my Bible but this gray isn't quite dark enough to need to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up and I am gonna cover some of my writing with this so hopefully it is light enough you know what let's do this let's stamp off just I have a little scrap here we'll stamp off just the part that's gonna cover over the the words so that we have a little bit more see-through of the words and we're not covering all the words with our stamp so I'm gonna put them right there and I'm gonna hold it down a little bit because this stamp does kind of need some pushing around to make sure you get all of it and the Bible is a little bit you know since it's behind there it is a little squishier but there we got the whole thing um, I do have some color pencil in there that I already put because I wanted to make sure I knew where I was going and I liked that part about the sparrows so we'll just kind of blend that into our bird when we get there so there's our bird there and I think that it, the smoky slate makes a nice coloring for in the Bible and it it did come through I must have left it on there too long because it did it did come through quite it bleed through quite a bit but really with it being a bird and not like writing or something you have it coming through on this side we can almost color it outline it and color it in and have it on both sides if we want to um actually it looks like it bled through more it's almost darker on the back side than on the front side Maybe I should have stamped the whole thing, but then it would have been really probably too light. So I do like that I left it as full strength. So I have that part, and then down here I wanted to do so for the, the flowers. flowers. I'm going to I'm going to use old olive for the stem, and this one's going to be a little trickier. So we're going to take and try and oh, this is um a photopolymer stamp so you can kind of see through there see where you're getting it you can even get those bottom little leaves because leaves are usually green let's actually let's do the leaves because they are far enough from the flowers and then for the flowers I have I am using stampin spots 
So they are small enough that I can see where I'm going to get just to kind of fit in. I'll start with Flirty Flamingo and just kind of fit in around there, around those leaves to get just the right coloring so we don't have pink leaves. So I'll damp off my light and mm -hmm. then come over here and I'm going to put this one right here. Hold it down there for a little bit. That's pretty. So there's there's that one. And we're going to do that. I have a mask for that. So I'm going to go ahead and mask that off. What did I do with this? I'm going to mask it off. Then I'm here. going to do the old olive again for the stem. Some of the stems of the flowers there. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my delightful daffodil. Daffodil delight. I got it backwards there. Daffodil delight. That's ink on there. Okay. Now we're going to ink this up. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one off to the side here. Let's stamp it off real light. So that, because we're, we're going to put this one over the letters some, or the writing, I should say, over the writing some. So I don't want it too dark, because I want to still be able to read. So there's that. That's good. I like that. And we're going to leave that there, and we're going to do another one over here on this other side. And a peekaboo peach, and I think it might go up with it instead of down. And that will give me a little room here to write, um, consider the lilies right here. So let's do a little bit more. Oh, throwing things around here. Hold all of. Okay. And then, what did I say? Peekaboo Peach. Because we already have the flirty flamingo on there. So, Peekaboo Peach. And I noticed here that I don't push hard enough right around where the mask is, so I don't always get a very good impression. Maybe? But with it being photopolymer and this being the Bible behind it, that soft, it should give it enough cushion to make a nice impression without needing to try and fit our Pearson stamping mat behind it. But I also want to make sure that around the the mask I'm getting a good impression. Oh, and I forgot to stamp this one off. So we're going to have it a little darker there. See, I still didn't get a good one down there. I was paying attention up here and forgot down there. But it's okay. Not everything that we Bible journal is going to be perfect. That's for sure. I have a few that <laughs> could use a little work. But there we go. Oh, so like that one would have matched a little better had I remembered to come over here and stamp it off once. But that's okay. Alright, so there's our lilies. I think up here we'll go ahead and write under here, um, ye are of more value than many sparrows. And we'll have to write it a little on the smaller side. And then down here we'll do consider the lilies. So I do like... I. I would at times do just like a, an upper part. I have many times just done like an upper part here. But today since there was a section in both that I liked, I'm going to go ahead and do my whole thing today. And in my other one I did last time, I um, did the, let me see if I can find it real quick here, it's a few pages back. I did the, the inking around the edges and I may or may not do that again. I don't know if I'll do ink or if I'll do colored pencil since I'll have those out for the bird. We'll see, but I do like how it makes the Bible look if you're looking at the edges and you see the coloring along that. Okay, like, oh. so I wrote out my okay. words in pencil. I'll get to those in a little bit. I think first of all, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get my my pencils out here and I'm going to color the bird. And um, I may have to sharpen a few of these along the way, depending on what colors I use. 
And then um, they are a watercolor pencil, so I do have a blender pencil because I don't care to use water too much in my Bible. So I have a blender pencil that helps pull them together as you're using them as needed. It does talk about sparrows. Um, I'm not sure that I want a brown bird though. So the other day um, I was in the one root front room of our house and there is a birdhouse just outside the window and we saw a bluebird and I think that I really want to put it in as a bluebird even though we're talking about sparrows. They are in the same family though, like the same kind of family. They're a little, just a little bit bigger than a than a, um, a sparrow. So maybe there's a way we can kind of do a little bit of a brownish bluebird. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. that I was keeping this stuff over here lighter obviously because of the writing I didn't get the blue as worked in as I expected but that's okay um, maybe I'll go ahead and highlight that with that same blue color a little later I did go ahead and make the bird a little bit more muted sparrowish looking than I had first thought um, but I like it I like the way it turned out he's cute and then um, when I did my letters, I also went ahead and put some some of the leaves in there. Um, I went ahead and put those, some of those leaves in there. And now I'm going to go ahead and go over the, the lettering with a Pigma Micron pen. I think I'm going to use a 3. I'm not sure exact sizing here, but 3 sounds good for me. Okay, so there's the lettering. I will need to go, after it sits a little bit, um, let it dry some. I will need to go in and get rid of some of my pencil markings, but that's okay. And then around the edge, I'm going to go ahead and use the green I have down here. This is my very close to <laughs> old olive colored pencil. I'm going to just go ahead and start at the edge and work my way all the way around. Okay, so there's our um, our finished page for our Bible journaling for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching that and that you got some ideas and inspiration what you can do when you um, find something in your Bible that you really want to document more than um, just a highlighting it. Um, so thank you for coming to create with me today and I hope that you'll come back to create with me again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.